Now that we know how to control our catching character using our keyboard, you can see I can press the keyboard right and left arrow keys and make my catching character move back and forth. Now it's time, if we're going to create a catching game, to make the stuff that falls from the sky for the character to catch. So to do this, I've got another file here called Attach Movie 1, and you can get this file from my website. I'll just point it out right here. If you go to my website, danscourses.com, and go to Catching Game AS2 Part 2, Stage 2, The Falling Stuff, and this is the Attach Movie 1 file. Attach Movie 1 file. Now I'm going to redo all of this and update the, the text, but you'll still be able to download this file, Attach Movie 1, from my website under Catching Game Part 2. So if we look at this file, on the stage here I have some text explaining the concepts behind the attach movie function. And what we can do is we can attach objects or movie clips from the library. Here's our library. And we can attach these objects from the library onto the stage and then we can move them making them fall. So that's the idea. So for a catching game we want to attach objects from the library to the stage and then make them randomly start falling at different speeds so that our character can move back and forth and catch the falling objects. All right, so in my library, you can see that I have a movie clip called cow underscore MC. And you can see it's a little drawing of a cow head, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this cow head and go to properties. And I explain this right here on the text on the stage, right? That you need to set the um, linkage identifier. Now the linkage identifier, you can see here the name of the movie clip is cow underscore MC, but if you click on advanced, you'll see that you've got action script linkage, and you check mark export for action script, export in frame one, and then you can set the identifier. And the identifier that I've set for this movie clip is the word, or the text, cow, the string, C-O-W, cow. So this is like this linkage identifier is like an instance name for a movie clip on the stage. But since this movie clip is not on the stage, it's in the library, it gets what's called a linkage identifier. So, if we have a movie clip on the stage, if I was to draw, if I was to drag this out, let's say, hold on one second, try that again. If I was to drag this out, now I have a movie clip on the stage, and I give it an instance name so I can target my action script code to it. But if it's in the library, right, if it's in the library, it needs to have a linkage identifier, right? So once again, you click on advanced and you set the action script linkage, check mark these, put the identifier cow, all right? So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to dynamically tell the action script code to grab the object from the library and drop it onto the stage. Now to do this, you can see that um, I have a layer called actions, and we've got some action script here. And in the action script, the first thing that I have is the attach movie function. Now I've written all of the code out, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this code line by line to show how it works. So I'll just scroll that down now, and we'll just talk with this first line. So attach movie, you give it the linkage name, which is cow in, in between quotation marks. Then you need to give it a new name. So this is the new name. Now you can use the same name for the new name, or you can choose a new name. So I could say cow underscore new, right? Or new name, right? So linkage name, the new name that you're going to give it. And then this is the depth level. The depth level is almost like a layer concept. Every item that gets attached, or every movie clip that gets attached from the library to the stage needs a unique depth level. Right? You can only have one attached movie clip on one level. Right, So if I was to attach two movies to the same level, the one would overwrite the other. And you'll see that in a second. So we say attach movie, the linkage name, the new name, and the identifier separated by commas. Right, And this is the attach movie function. So you hit control enter. And you can see that the cow has been attached to the stage in the upper left hand corner. Now, it attaches to X0, Y0. So in our Flash movie, X0 and Y0 is the upper left-hand corner of the stage. That is X0 and Y0. So when the cow head gets attached, right, 
what happens is it gets attached at x0, y0, but at the registration point. And you can see that the cow has a registration point right here in the center of, its, of the movie clip. So it gets attached basically right here like this. The registration mark lines up with x0, y0, and you get a situation like that. Let me, we'll do it one more time. You can see it gets attached and moved to the upper left-hand corner. Now, once it's attached to the stage, we can then move it by adjusting its properties. So to do that, I'll go back to my code here, and you can see attach movie cow. Its new name is cow underscore new. So I'm going to use that new name, and I'll just go down here, and I'll say cow new dot underscore its x property, and I'll set it to, let's say, 100, right? And then I'll do the same thing for the y property, which is copy, control C, control V, and we'll paste that, right? And now I attach it to the stage, and now I should adjust the position of it on the X and Y axis by adjusting its X and Y property and changing it from 0, 0 to 100, 100. And you can see now the cow head is no longer up at 0, 0. It's down here at X100, 100, 100 pixels over, and 100 pixels down, right in the center and you can see now the cow head's moved. So now that we know how to do this and how to attach an object from the library, it's time to start writing some code that will basically set up our uh, cow heads to attach and fall in a dynamic fashion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this and we'll start coding this up. Now the first thing that I do here, you'll see, is I create a couple of variables. So I'll put these here, all right, and I say variable cow counter equals one, and by the way, I just made up this name, right, cow counter, why? Because I need a counter that's gonna count my cow heads, and I started at one. And then depth level, I'm gonna start the depth level of the heads at 3,000. Now, why did I do that? Well, maybe because my catching character is at a lower level, but this could have been anything. I could have made this, let's say, 1,000, and I'll change it to 1,000. So we'll start at depth level 1,000 for the cow heads. The next item here, is the drop timer, and I'll show you what this is. Now, I also made up this name because I need a timer, right? And what kind of timer is it? It's a timer that's gonna drop my cow heads. So I named it drop timer. And then I say drop timer equals a set interval function, which is another function built into Flash. It needs a capital I so that it turns blue. And in the set interval function, what I can do is, is I can call a function. So I'm going to call a function called create cow, which, by the way, I'll need to write. And I'm going to call this create cow function every 2,000 ticks or milliseconds, right? So 2,000 ticks is uh, two seconds. So let's try it out. So drop timer, set interval, create cow every 2,000 uh, milliseconds. And then what I'll do is I need to write that function. So I'll say copy here and paste function create cow open and close parentheses open curly brace right and now I'll just say trace and we'll just trace the number one alright so now if this works every two seconds the create cow function should be called which calls this function which traces the number one right so we'll hit control enter and you can see that there's a number one, there's another number one, another number one, and another number one. So this will be my, basically, I'll use this drop timer, this set interval function, to basically add a falling object every two seconds, right? And it'll do that by calling this function every two seconds. So now that we have that, we need to get rid of this trace one here inside this create cow function and basically write our code that's going to attach our cow heads. So the first thing I do is put a variable inside called current cow, right? So variable cur underscore cow, and I use that, I just made this up for the current underscore cow that we're going to be attaching. 